All right, guys, let's take a look at the Tudor Black Bay Bronze. This is the 43 millimeter variant. This is the larger watch, and this works for a lot of people. There was even, I think, a special edition one with a blue dial, but this one has the slate gray dial, has the aluminum bezel insert, and actually the material used for the case is a bronze and aluminum mixture. So this one's um, showing some really good patina already. The case back is stainless steel and that will be PVD coated. So that is not going to patina. Might scratch, but it's not going to patina. So let's get into the specs of this thing. 43 millimeter is a true measurement side to side. The lug to lug is a 52.5 millimeter. Thickness 14.5, but that's including that boxed and double dome sapphire crystal. The lug width is an odd 23 millimeter. And this one, um, Greg, who sent this in, a buddy of mine, he picked up a few extra straps. Actually, this strap that's on here is not the factory strap. And if you think this looks perfect on the watch, I agree. This is actually, uh, well, we'll cover the strap in a second. Let's finish the measurements. So 23 mil lug width, a nice eight millimeter screw down crown. And this thing is a little bit of a weighty guy because these straps don't weigh very much. So we're talking about really just the weight of the watch itself, 113 grams. So nice weight to it. All right, well, real quick, let's touch on this strap because this is the black strap that it comes with. Great leather strap. Tudor does a great job with their straps, whether they're leather or, you know, their bracelets or their fabric straps. They're all phenomenal, matching hardware and everything. But this strap, I think, works even better with it, is actually from a female strap maker in Chile that uh, has the business name or the company name of Martu. It's M-A-R-T-U. I'll put a link down below. I'll put the Tudor link and then the dimensions, and then after that, I'll put the strap information um, I was talking to Greg about it, and the straps she makes are very nice, extremely comfortable, and very affordable. So I'm probably going to pick up a couple for myself as well. I love this distressed look. Um, that's the one I'm mostly interested in. Price points seem to be around $50. Yeah, they're, they're not expensive at all when it comes to custom-made straps. So give those a look. Okay, so the model number and everything, I'll put that in the description. Uh, the price point on this brand new is $4,400. On the used market, I would expect to pay $2,500, $2,600 right in there. So quite a bit of a hit on this, which is weird. You wouldn't think that we would still be experiencing Tudor taking a hit on a lot of their models because they are a sister company to Rolex. You pick up pretty much any sport model Rolex and it doubles in value almost. You pick up any sport model Tudor and you take a hit, sometimes darn near half the value, which is just crazy because they're still amazing watches. So if you're looking for a luxury watch on the used market, Tudor, oddly enough, might be the one to look at. Um, it's hard to argue the value definitely on the used market. I think it's a lot of watch even at their full retail price because they're still half of what their you know big brother or big sister Rolex would uh, price their watches at. Anyway, just food for thought. Inside is the Movement MT, manufactured Tudor, that's what that stands for, 5601. It is a COSC, chronometer grade, improving, you know, spec'd out, 70-hour power reserve automatic movement. A very good movement. The downside to a lot of these Tudor, like even the 41s or this 43, is they're slab sided and they're just too thick. Um, I really wish they would slim their watch line down a little bit and I would probably be on board. I just don't like thick slab sided watches. That's what deters me from it. Now, when you have slab sided in bronze or titanium like the Pelagos, then it kind of mutes it a little bit when you have the shiny polished side of a lot of the Tudor Black Bays, it really accents the thickness of it. So. Again, a lot of it's just going to be perception and not actual thickness of the watch. So definitely check them out. If you're near a Tudor authorized dealer, just go in and try some on. You'll see what I mean, and maybe there's a one there for you. Okay. Uh, I think I covered pretty much everything. We're going to pop this on wrist, and then I'm going to do the bezel because I want to show you something with the, the bezel. 
that I think most people know at this point. Enough people have talked about it. I hadn't talked about it just because, I don't know, you don't want to share like everything, everything about watches. Some of them need to be things that you discover when you own the watch, you know. So, man, this strap is so comfortable. I cannot wait to pick up some of these. Okay, so here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It wears fine. I could totally wear the 43. I could totally wear the 41. I would probably go more for the Black Bay 58 in bronze, but they didn't really release that in the States, I don't think. It was a boutique only. I love the Explorer dial. I'll do a close-ups on it here in a second. I forgot to do that. But I want to show you the bezel, okay? So, Tudor, hands down, best 60-click bezel in the business. Now, when the watches are on your wrist, whether it's on strap or bracelet, you should feel, you could close your eyes and do this, you should feel a deeper detent at the 60. If you're holding it in your hand, you're not going to feel it as good. You have to put it on wrist and then rotate it around. I lost a bet doing this because I didn't put it on wrist. Well, that time I didn't feel it. But if you go slower and you just focus on the clicks, yeah, I could feel it right there. Most of them, it might wear in a little bit. Most of them will have a little bit deeper detent. So if you have one of these and you didn't know that, put it on wrist, close your eyes, you know, mix it up, close your eyes and give it a nice slow turn and I bet you you'll feel it. It's pretty cool. All right, let's zoom in a little bit here because I forgot to do the close-ups or maybe I didn't and I forgot that I did. But anyway, there's that slate gray, beautiful looking dial, just a great looking watch. I just, I mean, if this thing was like, if they would have, okay, think about this. So the 41 millimeters of stainless steel, they want upsize on this to a 43. Imagine if they would have went to a 40 millimeter and, and did the Black Bay in a 40. Now you have my attention. I would have bought that. But this one's really good too. Love the Explorer dial layout, the 369, applied indices. Love the Snowflake handset. I'm sure maybe later on down the road, I'll pick up another Tudor. But I'm going to want something different. I'm going to want something unique because I, I feel like Tudor is more likely to experiment like that and do some unique things just like this, a bronze watch. Okay, let's give it a quick blast with the UV light, kill the lights, check the loom. Excellent loom. They even did a, a nice job with the 3, 6, and 9 because a lot less real estate there versus the other applied indices in the handset but I think they hang right there with it. So very nice. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next vid.